Hi, I'm Kyle Arceo, 23 years old, working as a marketing associate. I've been blessed to have this opportunity to get the under-eye treatment from none other than Dr. Contessa. So I think I got it from my mom that we have very evident eye bags. So when Dr. Contessa asked me for this treatment, I immediately said yes. So please stay tuned to this video to watch the full treatment. So please don't forget to click the like and subscribe button to stay posted in this channel. Good day everyone, welcome to the CSA Medical Aesthetics. I'm Dr. Contessa, your certified aesthetic physician. In today's episode, we have a young guest. Okay. <laughs> Let's welcome Kyle Arceo. Hello po. Okay, so he's still young. Um, how young are you? 23 po. Yeah, okay. So Kyle here, actually he's the brother of our <laughs> previous guest, uh, Sir Jericho. Yes. Younger brother, okay. And do you have same features as him? Kind of like some a little features. bit, okay. <laughs> so with um, Sir Kyle, actually what I noticed with Kyle, the corner of the eyes, okay. So whenever he smiles or he is so happy <laughs> and so excited, there I saw the lines, okay. We call them the crow's feet, okay. So. In our term, we say lateral cantal right deeds, okay? And another thing that I've noticed, the under eye area, okay? Yes. It's kind of hollow or sunken. So, nagpupuyat ka, Sir Kyle? Yes, po. <laughs> How many hours of sleep? Six on the average, po. On the average, yes, okay? Po. And there might be like a genetic predisposition to it, okay? Actually, ang mom and dad din po niya, we've seen them already. So, previous episodes, we had them. So I did a treatment on your mom on the under eye area, okay? So there could also be a genetic predisposition to it. Mm -hmm. Like um, it could lead to, so there's hollowness, volume loss, then eventually kind of dark circles already. So if you're not doing anything about it, you just let it be like that. Over time, it will really become sunken and you'll notice na lang dark circles na, parang dark shadowing and we always look tired. Ano ba, haggard, or they will really say you have sleepless nights. Sleepless. Yeah, they just don't understand why you don't sleep. <laughs> but this generation, anong generation mo na, Kyle? Gen Z po. So Gen Z, okay. You'll notice that we have young people right now. Even my son, my youngest son, I noticed naman with my youngest son, he was only nine years old. I already noticed like a sunken under eye, mm -hmm. like, a, like a dark circle already. But on my son, there's a... Uh, medical medical aspect to it the one we call allergic rhinitis those people with allergies or eczema allergic rhinitis bronchial asthma they also have like a sunken under eye or dark circle okay so there's a medical component to that kind so it's not lifestyle only yes. and it's not genetics only so it could be like a medical condition okay yon <clears throat> allergic rhinitis, urticaria, eczema, asthma. Wala ka naman nun. Wala naman. Wala ka? Wala po. Or, asthma. Or, or, rhinitis a bit. Yes, Ayan. Po. So a bit of allergic rhinitis yes. or pwede kasing meron kang mga allergic dermatitis. Yes. Ayan. I think, yeah, you have a history of allergic dermatitis. Yes. So that will also give you that kind of under eye appearance. Oh. So there's this condition we call yung mga atopic dermatitis. They have this so-called Derny Morgan sign under the eye area, okay? Now, um, an another thing with genetics, I just remembered mga Indians, di ba? You'll notice our Indian friends. So yung under eye nila, sunken, hollow, and dark. They thought nga I was an Indian eh. <laughs> Pwede rin po. Like, baka meron kaming, ano, yun, Indian na ano, okay? So, genetics, um, medical conditions, unhealthy lifestyle, stressful lifestyle, lack of sleep, uh, medications. 
So some people who have this certain medicines that they're taking, so predisposing to them to predisposing them to this kind of eye uh, appearances. Okay, or like uh, you may mga problems sa thyroid gland, yan, mm -hmm. hypo hyperthyroidism. Mm -hmm. They have some eye uh, conditions. And yung sa side ko, aging. <laughs> so aging also is another factor you consider. Si Sir Kyle, young pa lang. So, pero aging daw starts at ano na, 25. 25. So 23 ka, yeah. then 20. Oh, malapit ka malapit na. na. Aging. <laughs> so aging also is a factor. So the loss of volume, lack of col uh, less collagen formation, less elastin production. Yan, tapos the skin becomes thinner. And then, nag-wrinkle na yung skin. Yan. So, ang daming factors to consider what's causing this under-eye problem. Okay? Si Kyle Puyat kasi lagi. Yeah, okay. And we're here to manage the problem. That's why we wanted to do something already. Preventive then. Okay? Because Kyle is like, syempre, his lifestyle is like this. And continuous yung ganun yung lifestyle. So, over time, it's gonna worsen it. Yes. So, we don't wanna worsen it. We just wanna do prevention right now. So, what kind of treatment? We'll show you when CSA Medical Aesthetics returns. And we're back. So, we're with Kyle here. We did the assessment a while ago. So, we have noticed that in the corner of the eye, he has the so-called dynamic wrinkles or dynamic lines, okay? You're just 23, Kyle. Yes, bro. You already have dynamic wrinkles on the corner of the eye. You can also, like, assess, like, for example, glabella. You frown, Kyle. Frown. So, you'll notice there's already, like, a beginning vertical line. And then, raise the eyebrows. So, you'll notice also dynamic wrinkles there, okay? So, our main concern right now is the lateral cantal area. So, that's the first one that we will be correcting. And then, if you look at the under eye region, uh, particularly in the third trough area here, at the medial cantus, so the third trough area, you'll notice it's re really sunken already. So, if you will do your grading as to the severity, when we have, uh, like from the third trough area to the middle aspect, we still categorize it as class 1 third trough deformity, okay? We could like still would say like a mild to moderate problem here, okay? Some cases, they already extend here to the lateral cantus. So those are already like class 2 to class 3. Or if it really extends periorbitally, so we would say like it's a severe, very severe problem already. So Kyle, since you already have this class 1 type of uh, third trough deformity, we will already correct it. Because okay, if you're not doing anything about it, as I've mentioned, it's gonna worsen. Yes. So it could extend to the this area here, the middle part of the infraorbital region, and then it could extend to the lateral aspect. And I'm noticing already, actually, there's a beginning static line. So minute static lines already in the infraorbital skin area. Okay. So um, for my first treatment. I will start with the so-called third trough filler, okay? And then after that, we'll inject the so-called uh, botulinum toxin type A. We'll be using for Kyle the zeumin or incobotulinum type A Botox, okay? So let's start with the under eye, okay? So we can also like spray our anesthetic cool spray. So please spray in this area. So I'll be using for my filler on the third trough. So, I will use the so-called Redensity 2. So, we can show the box, Redensity 2 there. So, Redensity 2 is a product from Chosal. Okay, it's a very good company. And uh, I love the Redensity 2 for the tear trap or under eye concerns because not only it contains hyaluronic, but there are other important micronutrients that are like um, contained in this Redensity 2, okay? So this is the only brand that is really specific for tear trough correction, okay? So this is an excellent brand. Sir Kyle, it's a Choksan Laboratories. They're, they're the ones who manufactured the Redensity too, okay? So for tear trough filler, I'll be using a cannula. So that's my technique, cannula. So when I, whenever I do my cannula technique, I make a marking. So from the lateral cantus, make a vertical line and then a horizontal line from your outer groove towards 
the area where those lines will meet okay i'll pinch the skin okay kyle pinch the skin and then just a tiny prick with this gauge 21 needle okay i'm sorry okay just a tiny prick i don't know if you're having facials the facialists are also pricking the acne right so this one is the cannula it's gauge 25 with 38 millimeter length and then i'll just glide it towards the tear trap section okay so the tear trap area when we correct it with our feeler the anatomical layer where we want to place the product is already in the submuscular layer or below your orbicularis oris okay so that is the region where we want to place the product already so i'm doing a so-called combination of like a retrograde to anterograde technique okay so that kind of procedure it should be done by advanced injectors okay so i'm already pushing gradually and gently now i can still add a little bit more towards the medial canthus okay the area where there is like a volume loss we wanted to improve the the lost volume in the area so the under eye skin actually this is the thinnest skin on our face next to the the rignon skin okay so the middle cantal third trough area we have the thinnest skin there okay just a gentle placement of the product material there okay once you're done with it you can do a massaging of the material okay then i'll continue with my lateral cantal zeomin or my botulinum toxin type a or incobotulinum toxin type a okay so i'll be injecting intradermally you can still do the pain freeze so if you want to still further numb the skin so we want the procedure to be really painless kyle so, but they said no pain no gain okay Amen. so i'll stretch the skin like this so the placement will be intradermal okay so this one just i'm using a gauge 34 needle here four millimeter length okay just intradermal and prick the skin you can use two units for every injection point two units and two units okay so we're done with the right side let's do the opposite side So we have done an under eye dermal filler injection using the Redensity 2 and we also did the injection of your Incobotulinum toxin type A for the lateral uh, cantal rides. We'll show the result to Kyle when CSA Medical Aesthetics returns. And we're back so let's show the result to Sir Kyle. Kyle, the mirror inspect what happened to the under oh, eye area wow okay so with the dermal filler using redensity 2 from uh, chokshan laboratories it will instantly improve the tear trough deformity you'll notice wow. the sunken area will be elevated already and then over time it will still improve the texture of the skin will improve like there will be hydration in the area plus some collagen stimulation there's going to be tightening and firming effect and volume restoration and then the uh, injection of the zeomine or the incobotulinum toxin type a we give it time like one week to two weeks you'll gradually see the disappearance of those wrinkles your comment sir kyle i am speechless <laughs> because okay. it's been a, a thing that i really wanted to do for the longest time so thank you doc yeah you're welcome how <laughs> was the experience during the injection very very painless yeah. actually kundi lang po ako sinasabi ni doc na na inject yeah. na i wouldn't know oh yes, well, that's new okay. yes, well, <laughs> so, parang, finger ni doc tas parang mm. the needle oh parang ah na inject na <laughs> yon akala ko hindi pa yon <laughs> okay. okay there you go yeah so uh, over time you'll be seeing the improvement on the lateral cantal region okay so like day three that's the onset of action you will notice that whenever you smile or you're so happy okay <laughs> Uh, or somebody's tickling you okay you'll notice the corner of your eye you don't have those several lines already okay and actually right now parang nawala na nga kayo, oh, eh. well. 
So also with the injection of the Redensity 2 on the lateral cantal area, it, it kind of stretched the skin as well. Okay, so I'm, I'm noticing an instant improvement and there's kind of like no more dark shadowing. Okay, so gradually you'll notice if there's a pigmentation there, the pigmentation will gradually go away because with the stretching of the skin, the pigments will clear up. Okay, so the others because like they have pigments under the eye, that is a, the other concern. So they want to clear up any darkening under the eye. Okay, so ako naman next time. Okay? <laughs> I need it also uh overwork over fatigue then yeah so this is a kind of a treatment that we offer to those who have concerns of like hollow under eye dark circles volume loss under eye the aging of the skin under eye wrinkles under eye or around the eye area okay so any message sir kyle sa mga followers mo <laughs> followers natin okay. please do so uh yun actually if you do if you've done your research yeah. uh, it's pretty much like painless and, painless yeah. and hindi naman po siya parang tabu even for the younger people yeah kahit 20s ka pa lang, you can get this treatment correct so get this treatment dito sa csa yeah. <laughs> Chaka, instant yes uh, we'll we already noticed an instant improvement plus uh this time we say like a minimal downtime only like uh, for some of my patients with this kind of procedure like the next day, they go to their work, okay? So, no need to absent yourself from your job. Mm -hmm. Depending na lang on what kind of procedure we have done, okay? Others kasi medyo mas marami. We, we do multiple injections. Then, they tend to have bruising or any mm -hmm. kind of mark from the injection. So, it's a case-to-case -case basis. Tsaka, pag younger, less yung mga bruise. Pag younger, faster ang healing. Mm -hmm. Faster ang recovery ng tissue. So, it's also good for young ones. And prevention is, is really important, okay? So, o nga, no, young people, they may think like it's like uh, a tabu. Ay, dapat parang, pang matanda yan. Pang matanda yan. So, yes, right now, we need to manage these kinds of conditions. Kasi if you still wait for like a time na it's so severe na, um, kind of it's, of course, we'll need more, more treatments. So, we combine it with other procedures. Kasi over time, yung mga fibroblast cells ng dermis natin, they, they, get or they become inactive. So, habang active pa sila, let's stimulate them. And like I've done a uh, Botox injection, the youngest, the youngest, 18. 18. 18 years old with forehead wrinkles already. Mm -hmm. So, the young generation right now, parang mas stress or ano? Or I don't know, <laughs> with the young people nowadays. Now, Botox kasi, Actually, it was used medically. It was not for cosmetic indications. So, if the youngest one, they've given Botox, two years old, for a certain wow. congenital deformity. So, actually, there was a cerebral palsy and there was this on the lower extremity, they call it equino deformity. So, they release some muscles there using botulinum toxin, two years old, okay? Mm -hmm. So, it was used by neurologists, ophthalmologists, and then 1980s onwards, they've discovered it can be used for treatment of wrinkles and lines. Yan. So, hindi naman originally ang Botox anti-aging or anti-wrinkles. So, it, it was used for medical purposes. Even migraine treatment or some spasms, hemifacial spasms, blepharospasms. Right now, you're, you're hearing about trap tox, trapezius Botox. Yan. Meron pa mga arm tox pang slim ng arms mm. and other uses of botulinum toxin. So thank you so much sir thank Kyle. You, Salamat thank you po. po. Salamat so po. if you have any questions you may email us at CSA Skin Clinic at yahoo.com our FB page CSA Medical Aesthetics Instagram CSA Medical Aesthetics our clinic is located here at the Infinity Shop Pulong Maragul Angeles City Contact number 0933-860-9193 or 0917-504-4268. Kyle, meron ka bang social media? Baka they want to follow you. <laughs> follow Kyle. Kung gusto niya lang. <laughs> yeah. At Kyle Erseo on Instagram and TikTok. Yeah, thank you. So also, please watch our other videos at our YouTube channel, Contessa Salvador. And thank you so much for those who have subscribed. So when it comes to natural beauty, you can trust the CSA Medical Aesthetics.